don't use aluminum. Don't use an aluminum pot to mix this in because the lye reacts with it. Use stainless steel or enameled cast iron. I'm going to add the olive oil in at the last, after the saponification process has begun. That way, most of this stuff, this oil, lard and coconut oil, will have reacted with the lye, and the oil that's left over is this olive oil. I don't want it to get hot, I just want it to liquefy. This is cold process soap making. Now I've got to heat it so it will li liquefy but I want it to be cooled back down before I mix it. All right, so the oil is 113. And the water's still about 147, so still too hot. We'll wait a few more minutes. So what we're gonna do in the meantime is get our mold ready. It's pretty simple, but what you wanna do is pour your soap into this mold and it's going to be liquid, and then it will set up during the evening. 24 hours later, we'll come back, we'll push out this long tube of soap, and then we'll cut it into slices. What you're going to do is close off one end so your soap doesn't all pour out. Okay? We're going to do it with this, but you have to hold that on. We're using food service film to seal it off. I'll do it right here. Make it easy to film. Get it? Film? I can tell you from experience that when you put this much of that liquid in there, it blows off the end and you've got a mess on your hands. So, we're going to avoid that with duct tape. I'm going to go ahead and tape a good bit of it on here. Okay, this is 116, and this is 108. So we're close enough now, and I should be able to mix this up without any problems. Now, I'm going to pour these together, and then I'm going to start mixing them with this thing. It's going to take a while to mix until it starts saponifying, or turning into soap. Now what I've done here is introduce a little too much air. It's not bad and it will still work. The only problem is it makes it a little more difficult to tell when you start getting trace. And trace is the look of the soap that you want. It's going to look kind of pearly when you run it. See, so you can't tell right now because of all this the air bubbles. But it's going to give a pearlescent surface. I should have put it in here and then kind of shaking it to get the air bubbles out from under that cup. When I spread the bubbles out, you can see that everything under there, all that oil and everything is opaque. That's a good sign, that's what you want. It's about the thickness of, uh, I'd say, heavy cream. So at this point, I'm gonna add the olive oil. I'm gonna add some fragrance to this, uh, some essential oil of lemon. You can use orange oil. Uh, lavender, rosemary, bergamot, just whatever suits your fancy. I'm going to put about, about a tablespoon. Nothing exact about this. It smells nice and lemon soapy. I just had an idea. My razor bowl, you know the soap in the bowl with the brush? It's empty, so I'm going to put some of that in there. Ben, this is ready to go, but before I make the mold, the large mold, I'm going to put a little bit of this in here.
Now, just in case the bottom does blow out, I'm gonna do my work in this bowl. That way, if the bottom blows out, I don't lose all the soap. This is a three inch tube and it filled it up about two thirds. You could make 50% more of this and it would fill it right up to the top. Here's the tube of soap from yesterday. It's a two foot by three inch diameter uh, tube of PVC. It has set up now, we're gonna take it out. It can be a little tricky to get this out. Okay, it's moving now. Just had to break it loose down here. So I should be able to push it out from this direction. All right. Smells very mild. This is not rocket science. All we do is we cut this into bars and then set it out on a rack to dry. This came out a little different color than the earlier batch. I think this one's a little bit darker. Maybe a little greasier than this one. And then just store it in a container like this. So here we go. Let's see if we can cut this. We can cut it very easily, in fact. Just go slow so it doesn't break it. We have all this cut up soap. And then you just stack it on a drying rack. Let it dry for a few weeks. All right, I hope you've enjoyed watching how to make soap. And uh, be sure and try it yourself. And then go to the blog, survivalnewsonline.com and uh, post your comments. Maybe send us a video showing how you did it yourself. All right, I'll see you at the blog.